Well, you know the story. Big investors are moving to Miami. Remote work amid the pandemic proof that they don't need to be on Wall Street or in Silicon Valley. So they've been heading south in big numbers. That's where we find our Jane Wells. Jane, I've got snow outside my window. You've got your feet in a pool. Ha <laughs> ha. ha. Uh, yeah, well, it, it beats working. Um, <laughs> so, you know, forget Texas, which also has no state income tax. The same as Florida. But for years, Miami has tried to convince companies it's not just a playground. It's a startup. And then came the pandemic. So right here, we are starting construction on 90,000 square feet of retail. Nitin Matwani is a managing partner in a $4 billion development called the Miami World Center. He used to work at Goldman Sachs, but moved from Wall Street back home to South Florida, has been trying to pitch his friends to relocate, and it's starting to work. The pandemic has been the single largest accelerator that we have seen. The SALT deduction uh, was one major one, but this has been a whole new level. Matwani says 60 companies of note have moved here. Uh, Blackstone's putting its tech unit here. Starward Capital's building its new headquarters here. And in a time when commercial real estate isn't looking so hot, there's plenty of construction cranes here. And now some big Silicon Valley guys are tweeting gleefully about leaving California for Miami, not just because of the taxes, but because of the culture of innovation. I got my Florida driver's license. <laughs> we got uh, uh, Florida plates on the, uh, on the, on the vehicles. Yeah, Scott Absher runs tech startup Shift Pixie, which just moved its headquarters from California to Miami with oceanfront office space at a 25% discount. I came to California in the mid-90s, and one of the things that I observed was just this bubbling of activity and excitement and optimism. I don't see that as much anymore. I think there's something happening here. I think there's seeds of some really interesting innovation. Now, in that last video, you saw Starwood's Barry Sternlich and one of his development partners, Alex Rodriguez. A-Rod and Sternlich will join us on Squawk on the Street. Guys? Hey, Jane, the, the innovation, I'm sure that's real. I'm sure there's all kinds of things that are happening there, but it, it really comes down to taxes, right? Uh, it's not just taxes, though that is a huge part. I mean, you're saving so much money. There's also not capital gains taxes on personal income here as well. The biggest hurdle was, is there the talent there? And now they're starting to believe they're reaching critical mass. They've had a huge investment in arts and culture and education and transportation. And when you have a Blackstone or a Starwood, say, or a Carl Icahn, or, you know, uh, I could go on and on. These guys from Silicon Valley, they're saying, you know, we're going to go to Miami. Other people start saying, well, why do I want to have snow outside my window? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jane, you wear it well. Thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.